here in the beginning of today's live stream so I can clip it out. So, two topics. Rick uh, Beato with another awful and so far off base take. I mean, this guy, I'm baffled by his subscriber amount because unless people are just watching it to see what, like, the grumpy old man has to say and how wrong he is about things. So... We know I've criticized a handful of his takes, like Billie Eilish being remotely comparable to Kurt Cobain. Where's this uh, new genre of music that she's on the forefront of? How did her second album do? Oh, yeah, nothing came of any of it. No one cares. The only thing I've heard about Billie Eilish is now she's decided to be sexy and wore a corset. Oh, groundbreaking, innovative. Oh, wow. Um, so, now his hot take, let's just turn that down a little bit, um, now his hot take is why Gen Z doesn't care about music, and, I mean, I am should probably play the video to refresh myself, but if I remember correctly, because I even brought this up to someone last night at the studio, and they were like, yeah, wasn't his take, it's like, video games, like, they're just more into video games or other content and i mean like like first off a lot of your sports games have musicians handpick the soundtracks your forza horizon games have radio stations in them grand theft auto has radio stations in there so you can't just chalk it up to video games what it is though is the platforms and this is what irritated me so much about him giving this hot take is like this guy does music reviews and is conscious and mindful of how much of the music he can play before YouTube gives him a copyright strike the problem is and I've done a whole video on this called the day the music died the establishment became so concerned about copyright infringement and penny pinching that they've made it virtually impossible to really, like, share music in a meaningful way. Now, yes, you can just repost some shit or hit the share button, but you can't... You know, the idea of a YouTuber creating a MTV-esque TRL music video show show... You just can't do it. Why would you do it? You jeopardize your channel. This guy can't even review songs because they will just strike his channel and shut it all down. That's the problem. The problem is the copyright system. So then he goes on and says, oh, well, video games, it's the video games. Well, the reality is there's plenty of games where if you stream them on Twitch, it knows to shut off the music in the game like i mean there are uh if you know if you check my my gaming channel like i'll stream wrestling games they turn off the entrance music like and most of wwe's entrance music is made in-house like they own it it's particular to them but again the system is just so nobody can use anything i get strikes on my own music i mean that's the insanity of it we're living in a system, or we're, we're functioning and working within a system where if I play one of my music videos on a live stream, I can't even have a TRL type show for my own shit. Like, that's how crazy it is. So to try to put the blame on, on anything but that just shows that you are either, like, just sticking your head in the sand and trying not to care about it or think either which way about it, or you're just being disingenuous because the reality is it could conflict with your hustle or your shtick or whatever. So the actual reason why Gen Z doesn't care about music is because we've allowed the technology companies to systemically devalue music and ba basically just make it something that can be omitted. You can just go without. It's safer to just go without. It's safer for Rick Beato to just review music without anyone hearing the music but him. And then just, I mean, I, it's why I have no interest in watching a music review. Because I'm listening to someone talk about it, and then, 
like I have to go listen to the songs. I don't feel like digging up some Spotify playlist and searching for it and everything else. And you know, it's, I, that's part of why I do agree with this. We need to build alternative platforms, but we need to build alternative platforms where people are okay with the sharing of music. Like I've been trying desperately lately to fucking share my music on torrent sites, which are the, you know, pirating illegal music shit. Yo, it's crazy you can't even <laughs> distribute music you own on these platforms lately. Like, I spent four hours trying to figure out what the fuck was going on with a JavaScript error on Pirate Bay, and then, like, other sites I'd try to log in, it just wouldn't do anything. One was telling me to fill out a CAPTCHA that wasn't there. And at this point, here's the I'm at this point, I'm leaning into that the industry is running the torrent sites to make it so that the only music that's, or media that's getting pirated is industry media. Because I used to get so much exposure on those torrent sites, and now all you see are established people on there. It's, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. So that's my hot take on Rick Beato's idiocy in regards to why Gen Z doesn't care about music. They do, but the platforms you're seeing them operate on are, are don't want anything to do with it. It's just become this, this problem that it's better not to jeopardize your channel or anything else by trying to engage in it.